here representing so many great players from around the world. And yet we have a grand final that nobody, nobody expected right here. Shutan and Zach Ray, such amazing talent coming from the land of the rising sun. Sticking with their characters through and through there a couple times. Well, not 100% because we've seen some counter picks here and there. But as far as the top eight's concerned, sticking to their guns. And so now, props to the light, by the way. Oh, yeah. Props. Absolutely. Props to all the players. He took out MK to Leo. The topic. Took out Nairo. He did such a fantastic job. However, let's see if Shutan's able to bring it back. And not get reeled again against Zachary. Starting on Pokemon Stadium 2. Grand Finals, Prime Stop. Let's go. There we go. Alrighty, and it looks like a lot of people right now were wanting to see the Wolf stay alive and actually take it all. Knowing that he's in the winner's side too. But we'll see. There it is right now. Olimar, again. A character who has quite the low profile. A lot of amazing tools. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't matter so much against Wolf though, especially with moves like down smash or forward air. grab, forward air, or even the laser. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like he's still able to deal with the fact that the character is so low. And the back air I feel is like easier to hit than the box instead. <laughs> Jump up platform, turn around each way. Even even if a uh, like Wolf oh double jump? Okay. Even if nope, not gonna be able to reach there. I thought he was gonna side B and hold up words. Um in any event. Wolf or any other character that has to face up against a short character, usually you're just going to have to delay your attack just a little bit more, you know, because of the fact that the opponent may be so low. But here it is, again, we've seen the likes of Void be this player at yeah. Genesis with Wolf. Wait, so what? Void be the No, 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 remember looking all the way back at Genesis 6. He okay. actually went Wolf. Oh. Against a very talented Olimar, if you don't remember. Oh, yes, yes. 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 Okay, that's what I said, exactly. No, no, no. As an off stage, can he get that spike that we saw him go for before? Whoa! Oh, again, he keeps going for that. It's, it's working out. It does a lot of damage. It's 101%. Will he go for that down smash on the ledge and try to mix it up? Seeing that freeze frame gets me hyped every single time. Nice push shoots on. Once you land on stage and you see the active hitbox and oh, Zach Ray. <laughs> He's trying to see if he can squeeze in another Flash Wolf. Okay. Up smash on the stage. Block it. All the picking too with that laser. The usage of the blaster again. Trying to use... I like that. He's looking to get rid of the stock of the up tilt. And on stage, trying to get that neutral air. I know that worked out for him really well in the first set of the finals. Let's see if he try to go for it again, especially to get him off the stage and... I like the DI that we saw right there from Shutan. He's not going to get bought even by any setups after up there. No guarantee combo, but, you know, just to capitalize on the landing in any event. Here it is. First stock right there here in the Grand Finals. Game one. Oh, what you got for us? They have Shutan. And, dude, that was crazy. You saw how Zachary tried to DI away. It didn't matter. Yeah. 73. So quick. What? That good attack actually worked against Zachary? All right, back throw is still not going to be able to KO. Can KO if it was a little closer to the left side of the stage. Okay, I like that charge up smash. Alright, this one might be a little hard to bring back. I can say that Zachary for certain is really good at this matchup. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still agree with you. I actually still agree. But that was funny. Just the timing. Yeah. The, the timing was funny as <laughs> He's still good. I think, yeah, he's still I really still think he's good he's at it. He's still really good at this matchup. <laughs> I swear he is. I agree with you. I do. <laughs> that was just unfortunate commentary timing. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, and what I noticed that Shutan's doing a lot differently this time is he's getting those like cl clips of getting Zachary after Zachary uses the second jump. So Zachary will try to recover, do second jump, will hit him again. Mm -hmm. And after that second jump hit, it makes it so that Zachary's too far to be able to recover. Like, for example, right there, where I feel like Zachary maybe could have tried to recover, yeah. but there's no way he'd make it back anyway. Why, why are Samson and Nairo light and head and all just turning up? <laughs> Having a, <laughs> I, I feel like they weren't even watching. Anyway, let's yeah, go into the second game. <laughs> hype argument. They're smiling, though. Yeah, as long as they're all happy. Anyway, we're going to move on to, to the match. As you can see, that increased okay. knockback on a down throw can make it a little bit hard for Olimar to follow up sometimes. But you can also toss the Pikmin on the opponent. Yep, and there goes the sample. They're throwing a white Pikmin on it. Fully charged down smash. Almost getting that to flip out. Zach Ray from recovery. And here it comes again. Yo, I actually love seeing oh, this. Oh, well it's jump. Over, it's over, and it's over. he well jumps. He well jumps. Wow. Give him a little boosty. Okay, that did give him a little bit of a boost and mixed up his recovery. So Shutan wasn't able to punish him with the down air. 
only had one pick and two. Solid defense right, right. here, but the up throw. <laughs> screen coming off the wall. But using that blue Pikmin, especially over 130%, definitely gonna get that KO. Yep. And now we're most likely gonna see Shutan try to go for up smash out of shield. But Zachary again is really good at the matchup. He knows to throw attacks on shield that won't make it so that he can get punished, like for example, right there. Still got punished for the fight, Brad. Instead of up smash. I was least. holding my tongue, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, at least it wasn't the up smash. There it, it is! Alright, alright, alright. And now the crowd screams again. They're happy to see Wolf. Biggest claws into Olimar, which it sounds kind of gruesome. Calm down. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it sounds boring. <laughs> My bad. Sonic Fox. Here we go, nice back <laughs> Alright, but right now he's at 119% way off the stage. Alright, gonna be recover. I like that he used the platform as he used to recover on that one. However, shoots on. Not even trying to take out the purple pigment, so you might see the back air from purple coming out. Hopefully they take out the blue pigments pretty soon. Yeah, I like them going for the edge there, but you can see shoots on. Such amazing timing when it comes to normal get up sight right there. Okay. Wait, he, he got oh an air, gosh. but all of them are Oh my god! Uh, it actually didn't do that that much damage, but that was still a crazy combo. Yo, it was like four to five hits. Was, oh, there it is. I was about to say, in the words of Wolf, what the heck? <laughs> you ever played Star Fox 64? Uh, yeah. I was about to say. because I never heard that part. You definitely didn't play Star Fox 64 if you never heard what the I, heck. I beat the game like eight times. Nah, you think. And you game never, number you one, <laughs> two. It's definitely two. <laughs> but that down tilt into up air, he keeps getting this on all the spacey characters, especially light and against Zachary. Down tilt into another attack. This stuff I shoot on, I wonder how Zachary is able to win the first set so cleanly. I'm going to tell you right now, man, shoot on is a problem. Zachary. It can be a little difficult when you're on the winner's side for so long. You gotta wait for all the people on the loser's bracket side to have to bring it back. Poor Zachary right now again, young young warrior, looking quite tired. We got a bunch of cats here in the, in the bracket just waiting. Well, actually in the in the crowd, waiting to see what's gonna transpire. So right now though, uh, I like what Zachary did hit or Zachary did there. He went back to the character selection. He reselected re his character, kind of reset a little bit. And again, though, Zachary has so many characters, I'm surprised to see him not try another character. Maybe it's because he's so confident and he can win it. These are all close matches. They are. They're not bad games. And then I feel like this is a matchup that I would expect Wolf to win. I'm not too sure what, what the Wolf and Alomar means I can think of the matchup. But especially with uh, Wolf being able to catch the landing of Alomar so well with the down smash and up smash, I would expect him to win. I love those immediate neutral layers at the end. Just to punish some numerous options when it comes to ledge getup. Okay, that's a punish. Forward. Oh, he goes goes upwards. Might as well. He always likes to go upwards and throw Alomar upwards because Alomar's not the best in the air, or at least above you. But the smart thing that Shutan does is that he drifts towards the edge so that at least now he'll force Zachary to try to read one of his ledge getup options, you know? Yeah, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, he's like, I, I can just 50, 50, 50, 50 you. Or 25, 25, 25. Ooh, anyway, God. it's like he knew he was gonna recover low and went for that delayed down air. Fantastic again by Shutan. Not getting it 100% of the time, but most of the time. Yo, 70, 80. Oh my God! Oh my! What happened? Yo, I think they switched bodies, man. Captain Blue style. Like. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Where Shutan is just go going on a rampage. Shutan is a monster. Yeah, exactly. The only reason I said 3 because I want Olimar to be able to, you know, have that buff for charge smash that? attacks. My goodness. Really rough for Zachary right now. That might not look at least. All right, well, let's see if Zachary can still bring it back. I love seeing players be like this far down and still think like, hey, you know what, oh. I got it. And he was getting that down smash to work after get up attack so much earlier, but that time around he did the uh, smash attack a little too late. Okay. By the way, guys, the score is 2-0 right now. Yeah, 2-0 in the favor of Shutong as heads up, and it's the best of five sets. Oh man, right there, the parry not even saving him. Okay, didn't want to set up for a back throw, just going for that F tilt. Okay, mm -hmm. downwards F tilt. Zachary has so much trouble getting the KO. Shoot on is so smart. Pikmin? Is that okay? I thought that was a blue Pikmin. He wants a little bit more damage. With Ooh, Great job again. Shoot on with the reset over Zachary. A consistent, consistent winning streak right here. 3 0. Putting Zachary 
into the loser's bracket. And right now, Zachary, he's going to have to dig deep, man. Sutton, to be honest, he looks like he's up and at him, man. Yeah. You look at his face, he ain't exhausted. Zachary, he's exhibiting a bit more emotion than uh -oh. I've seen at Genesis. All right, this is interesting. Zachary has decided for the second set of grand finals to go Lucina. So you might say Lucina, since when did you play Lucina? If you're oh, watching oh. the tournament earlier today, he actually went Lucina against Void and was able to beat Void 3-0 yes, with he this did. character, which is shocking. Guys, and I think this is a very good character to pick against Olimar, especially for Edgar. Uh-oh. And now, now looking at the strengths of this character Lucina, especially when your opponent's damage gets higher, down tilt becomes an amazing tool. You can use that for tech chases, and that, and that can potentially net forward smash which forward smashes Lucina's if I'm not mistaken her strongest KO tool reliable one right there you know uh, on the ground if she gets that forward smash man you gotta watch out buddy yeah, I'd say it might be her best smash attack simply because like you oh it's definitely her best smash attack you catch someone off guard like not the eye in the correct way you can KO them at 40% off the ledge that time. okay and right now Sutan has to watch out he's doing a lot of blocking of these Lucina aerials you block a Lucina aerial guys and you keep your shield up that's when the Shield Breaker comes out. And that could also allow Zachary to take a stop. Nice. Nimble stuff right here by Zachary. Putting himself out of harm's way. All right, Zachary actually reset his situation, but is he going to go off stage and get that free fair? I feel like uh, the recovery of Olimar is like really susceptible to sword character that can just run off and swing and sometimes get the tail. What type of punish is this? All right, it, it works. Yep. Run pass, double jab. Okay. Oh, and that's what I was looking for, but he did a little too late. Yep, and right now, you see what Shutan was doing. He's capitalizing on the fact that Zachary had to chase him, but Zachary was managed to take that stop. He's going for a lot of these grabs. Shutan is a little bit too mobile for him to press his advantage with grabs, understanding that at low percents, run-up grab can yield a down throw up air, right? And, if, and depending on how the opponent reacts after the up air, that can give you something big. But right now, talking about big, we have a lead right now by a stock. From Shuton, we could potentially sit on this again, like we talked about how he's so good at just maintaining. Oh my! Okay, Side I know. Throw I, purple Pikmin jumping I, in the air into forward air from Yellow Pikmin. I don't care what y'all have to say about Olimar. If y'all didn't gasp at that, y'all are just people that don't appreciate good weight. What is Olimar? That's <laughs> character. Because Olimar actually fights also with the double jab. Right, right there. <laughs> Every once in a while, I was like, I can throw hands too. He's trying to throw hands. <laughs> Of two purples out, yeah. like he's probably going to be looking for F smash or back air pretty soon to try to get the KO. Ooh. Ooh. Yellow, the yellow's just batting away at Zachary. Gets that neutral air. Of course, you know, it's a different ball game now, right? Before, you used to see near uh, jab juggles, but now things are different. Wow. Off the top with two stocks. Like I said before, Kataro. Sitting on that two stock lead. Everyone is just amazed at how consistent Shuton is. You know, it's not the fact. It's not even about what he's doing, but the fact that he's able to do all this to such an amazing player. The player who's, who is on the throne in Japan. Yeah. You know? Looking at Japan, the number one guy. And Zachary usually beats him, too. Yeah, dude. With uh, He has, like, that the reticle on his back everywhere he goes whenever he enters the tournament. And yet, Sultan right now is like, I'm finally understanding how to take it to you, and I'm even forcing you off of your character. What's up? All right, still looking kind of rough for uh, Zachary, getting two stocks just now. We're going to Battlefield. Yeah. This is a stage that people would say is really good for characters like Marth and Cena. It is. Um, or even Marth is in Melee, too. Like, going way back then. They were even Brawl. Uh, but, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. Just, just the sharking, right? Being able to put those characters on there. I've seen what... Ooh, he landed inappropriately right there, dude. That would have been death if he had gotten that back there. She probably went a little too high to get hit by the back there. Exactly. Yep. There it is. There okay. It is. Optimal punish. Forward smash. Out of any other punish you had to go for, forward smash was the key. At around 85% for a lot of characters too. They just fall prey to a KO. That's low, Katar. Not even 100. You know? Our average 85%. That's sick. You okay. see him right there using the invincibility. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. That actually almost spiked him off the stage. Right down to the again coming out from Shootsong. Wow, and using the invulnerability to start up frames too of the upbeat to continue to keep the, the momentum in his favor. It is right now respecting. Oh, this is a bad spot. He oh, wanted him to roll in. Yeah, he's in front of roll in. Uh -huh. Definitely would have gotten his tail there. Look for it again. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's actually able to roll in on that one. Very sick stuff that we're seeing from Zach Ray. Alright, still looking pretty good for um, 
exactly right now, though. Especially after that first stock. One is twenty eight percent. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, indeed! What? I was like, brother, what are you doing? Yeah, I was like, what is he looking for? <laughs> there? That doesn't look like a dare. <laughs> exactly. We oh. were all <laughs> confused. That and he actually, showed us. Yeah, an up there facing away from the stage. Or not up there. Up he facing away from the stage and he got to use the And then he drifted right backwards to tell the tale. Here it is. Gets the grab, catches the landing. Red Pikmin falling prey. I think they call that Lawrence at the summit. I usually like the. <laughs> to give the anyway, here we go. Yeah, I like to get my girl names. I, think, I just think it's cuter. Anyway. Wow. Wow. I, <laughs> know, <laughs> I call the white one Amber. She likes Starbucks. Anyway, so here we go, guys. Oh Forward throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the side B coming out from Purple Pikmin. Doing just enough pushback to be able to get that KO. And this is now an even a game again. After Zachary would look like he had a full stop lead. Here we go. Okay. I like that he goes for downer and neutral as he blows so. himself. And right now, he's probably going to have to look out for that F smash. Random F smash that gives the end it. And. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, he Purple catches the jump, but Zachary needs to tie this up. Alright, so now he has a blue pick and a purple pick. Oh! Okay. Let's watch out, recovery. And he lands ooh. on top of him, so risky. Purple pick with back air. Let's see if he goes off stage. Oh, oh you went way it? too hard. Oh. He has the air dodge off the stage. But it looks like the crowd will take that. They're yeah. totally fine with it. They're definitely totally fine because it seems like uh, Zachary at the moment might be the crowd favorite. You know? That's all on your Twitter. Oh, what were the results? Oh, yeah, oh. let's check the results for the poll. My bad. I feel like it might have been 90% Zachary. 88%, yeah. We, we got uh, 1,615 votes, and it's like 88% Zachary, 12% Shuton. Somebody with the highest rated comment said, anybody voting Shuton is lying, to be honest. That's not nice, Ganabrator. <laughs> Shout out to you, though. You're, you're my boy. You're my boy. Hey, people like underdogs. And in this situation, I would definitely say that Shuton's the underdog. Yeah. And if he wins this, that's two tournaments to win in a row. And one over Zachary. This kind of reminds me of, you know, Apex uh, Brawl. Yeah. Back in 2013. Yeah. Where Atori would always lose to the Antino. And then the one time he went to America, or they both went to America, Atori beat the Antino in a situation where he would lose. So this could be the same thing for Zachary. With Zachary, normally might win in Japan, in Japan. but Shutan might win over him in this match. We'll see. That SD definitely hurt Shutan a little bit because now we're in a tight oh situation. God. But wait, wait, wait. Oh, he tried to drift. He didn't even spike, but the fact that he was able to time that there so perfectly to when he was going to up the Okay, going for the up throws again. He just wants more damage, but you see how Shuton cuts the double short with the dare upon landing. Okay, moving forward. Probably it's, ooh, I, I thought he was going to up for a four there, but at least he's able to consistently get the punishes on the up smashes on shield. A lot of players miss that, and then they fall prey to a spot dodge cancel up smash. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Losing my breath. All right, and Shuton. Not looking to leave the ground, or actually trying to get back on the ground is going to be a little harder. He always seems to go for an aggressive option, like a landing neutral air, to try to get back on the stage instead of just going for like air dodge on the stage. But he knows that Lucina might just do an F smash. So that was one for that. Yep. Okay, we have. Yep, that's the white right there. And he called it back. Yep. That's a, that's <laughs> actually a nightmare scenario. Yeah. Look at that white picking to be dodge, doing the most damage of all the picking whenever latched on you after the side beat. Okay, once I hit, a lot of people like to drop shield. Good solid punish right there on the down tilt. Trying to move into the forward tilt. Oh. Oh. I do see Zachary do that sometimes. He does like a fall down counter whenever he's trying to recover. But in situations like that, you can get punished and get KO'd even at 80%. Oh, he, I thought he was going to walk away forward smash there, but I don't yeah. think it would KO. Yeah, I think uh, he went for the grab. He's a lot less risky. Like, he yeah. just grab you. He shouldn't have that a little bit more damage for Ford Smash to actually get. Okay, he's looking good now. 91? Yeah. Oh, stage again. Catch. Oh my god! All in short hop neutral air, delayed neutral air into up smash. I saw him trying to go for that before, finally getting it to work. There it is. Oh, Whistle. Amazing. Okay. Again, whistling as he works. Second jump gone. Had to up the early. Here's the tough spot. He wants to get inside, but the back airs. Wait! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, tables have turned. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, racking it up. Great. Okay, that purple though, saving. Oh, he has to get back down on the ground. So it's on? Yep, no purple. No, there no, it is. He's going to get the up throw, but it doesn't even matter at this percent. Uh oh, and the white. Who's out? Who's out? He has oh. to for it. Oh! oh! He was a little too risky. Decided to go for that side be the moment he was able to dodge that blue Pikmin grab. I thought we were going to see a grab. 
actually in that situation, you know? From who? From oh, uh, Zach Ray. Zach Ray, yeah. Like, maybe, like, grab forward throw, grab down throw. Maybe so. But the yeah. thing was, uh, Shutan tried, he had the blue pigment out, so he's, like, fishing for grab. Again, Zach Ray, I think, is really good at the matchup, so unlike other top players that we usually see, from around here, instead of him just going just running into it, getting grabbed, yeah. he saw that blue Pikmin uh, fishing, and he rolled behind, got that roll behind Reed, but that side beat, like, looked like it was the only option because he was too far away, but it looked like Shutan was able to block before he get the side beat and start connecting. Alrighty, guys, well, here it is. This is a championship point for Shutan coming from Japan against Zachary. Zachary came from the winner's side of Grand Finals, yet Shutan brought him down to Hades. And it's both of them now in the loser's bracket with Shutan just one game away from taking it all. Alright, it's still not looking too bad for Zachary. We're going back to Battlefield again. The stage that works out really well for Marcina. However, I think we got two stocks last time he was on the stage. I just don't know if it's the stage for him. Hey, he's charging right in again, but he has to be cognizant of the purples, man. You could punish the, the, the Pigman tosses when there is no hitbox. Wait. And down here again. And, okay, I like the back here setup, but he's just a little off. Shuton is just so mobile, dude. It's yeah. hard. Oh my gosh, there, there he goes again, actually. He's doing a side beat up from the Pigman. Yep. Into doing a forward air of yellow, but that blue Pigman again, able to get that grab. 59% only on Shuton. Zachary really wow. used that random F smash KO. And right there, Shutan actually understood that Zachary was going to go to the air with an aerial and seeing how floaty Lucina is, he, he immediately went for his own forward air to stop Zachary from mounting his pressure. It's so smart. He's a, he's a, he's definitely ahead of the game right here. Oh, but yeah. here it is, Zachary. Still trying to see. Yeah, mm -hmm. trying to get that early KO. He almost got it twice, once with the fair, once with the up air at below 100%, but now 70% on him. He needs to go off again. He's getting Zachary, two stocks, 81%. Trying his best now. He's not going to give up yet. Okay. Bears him into the stage. A lot of knockback. Wasn't able to get the tech. Now, Zachary, he's charging it. Good grab right there because it could have been a potential threat of a shield breaker soon. White pick moves on him though, so that's 108% now on Zachary. Potentially ready to get up throw KO by oh. the pick, but doesn't even need it. That Shoot joint on. hit from behind. <laughs> <laughs> hit from behind Alomar, but from the position. When I say backwards compatibility, man, I mean it. <laughs> right there, Shutan, one stock away from taking it all. Goes with the whistle, charging back on stage. And you see the Pikmin. This time, Zachary understands this is his final stock. He has to get rid of all these Pikmin. It's racking up so much free damage. Spot dodge? Okay. All right, going way off stage. You try to get that back here. It's really good. However, he's still too close to the stage. That looks um, good to get it. Yo, this is Zachary a good spot for Zachary. Not just yet. Such great knockback growth on that back here. Zachary, 24 down, 32 down now. He needs to get inside. Yes. Will he be able to do it? This is, again, Shutan's potential win. Ooh, okay. I like I decided to do that really slow to still try to get the side beat to connect. Okay, 50% now, dude. That's again. Uh -oh. I like the end tilt usage. So good at walling. Roll. Roll, oh Zachary. He, he almost got that spike to connect. Might as well go with S-Smash. Uh, that, that was buffered, man. Ooh. Immediate. He's like, who's the best in Japan? Oh, Not my you. God. Not you. 95 now. It is. He's overlapping. But Ooh. wait. Whoa. Oh. 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 Uh, everyone's Purple. hands is on their head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can he get back? Shoot on his move. Oh, my God. And he flew he so far. He jump. He should be able to recover. But can he get off the ledge? Oh, my oh, how God. How did that miss? How did that miss? No shield breaker. No shield breaker. Okay. Oh. I don't know. Maybe he'll use it. He's, he has a purple. Will he get another? Okay, he doesn't get a back here. Everyone's screaming. Oh, that was so beautiful. He should be able to come back. Yes, we'll no, see the win. Might Double be. top. It might be. And it's over. Oh. Shutan is the champion of Prime Saga. Change the battery pack. Beautiful stuff coming out from Shutan. Catching him after a second jump to be able to end <laughs> the set. Congratulations. Battery packs changed. And also history actually rewritten too. Seeing these two guys, man, battling time and time again. Wow, dude, amazing job. Like you said before, just seeing them when it comes to trying to see who could take over Japan and Shutan actually being the one to get the W, which a lot of us already been saying that. We know Shutan is broken. Yeah. He can do it. Definitely the best Olivar, I would say. 100%. Um, like, at minimum, maybe it could be the buzz, but right now I feel like Shutan's the one who would be the best because he pretty much solo mains Oliver. He plays Richter every once in a while, but I feel like it's 
pretty much just Alomar all the time. He's able to place this high, you know, top eight of Frostbite in the first place at this event clean, um, only losing, I believe, one set? Yeah, only losing one set. So I just feel like it's all hit. My boy Z5, I took it away. All right, no, he's not. All right, guys. All right, now he is. Yeah. What up, y'all? Actually, hit. <laughs> Right, we're uh, we're going to get the Z5 well, a little later. Yeah, before, before we get into that, though, a big shout-out to just all the competitors here. I think we're going to have an award ceremony, so we're going to bring everybody up. Or is it too late? Um, in any event, yo, so as far as this event is concerned, it's been super sick. We had, like, over 800 people enter. Um, wow, looking really? at, uh, And looking at the people that entered the bracket, very surprising results, right? MKLeo, Tweak, tied for 7th. TN Ally, tied for 5th. 4th place, Nairo. Third place, Light, the last NA representative in the bracket. And after that, it was just an all-Japan bloodbath after, uh, uh, from there, dude. Japan Civil War, if you may. We saw Zachary. He was on the winner's side, and he was sitting pretty. He was able to slice through so many amazing players with just great counterpicks, amazing gameplay. And what did we see? Him actually drop not only in one, but two sets to shoot on. Undefeated the entire freaking time. But then went to the grand final, shoot on, showed us that he actually has something up his sleeve, and it's not just a magic trick, it's actually a ticket to first place. Right there, I have to say, man, I'm very impressed with what we're seeing because Smash Ultimate, as much as we've been seeing a lot of matches, um, you know, matchups between players, we can't quite call who's gonna win anything. I know you kept saying how Tweak was the best in the world, and we still feel like he's one of the best in the world. Yeah. Same with MKLeo, but th these guys got seventh, man. Things are gonna change, and yeah, Nintendo's not making it easier because 3.0's coming soon. That is true. We're, We're not even gonna. gonna we don't even know when Japan. Uh, is Joker when Joker's gonna be good. We won't see when Joker's coming because, like, no, like, there one, was no direct, no nothing. One random thing. I feel like all the Bayo mains are gonna come back mm. when Joker comes out because, like, I know Bayo and Joker are obviously different. But yeah. We're black. You know, they're all like. But, you know, like. You know, that's what Joker does, right? Puts on the mask, like. Right? No? He puts on a mask, but you said something about black. As in the outfit. Oh, right? okay. They're, yeah. they're definitely not black. <laughs> yeah. All right. They might have some 3% in them. All right. Yeah, you know what, so. Z-Flight? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. All right. Check out z -Flight. We're done. What?
I mean, you could just set it off. Yeah, you could set it off. Ha <laughs> ha 